All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on the Backlog Gamer channel. We are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. We are in the first epilogue. <clears throat> Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Going into Strawberry to start a new life. <clears throat> you know, outside of all the dysentery and everything that goes on during this time, um, incurable sicknesses and all that, I think I could, I would like to live in this time for like a week, maybe. I bet that sign says Strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long mm. time. Have you been to Strawberry, Abigail? I can't remember. You have or haven't. Why don't you pull up just here? Just here. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. All right. Here we go. Don't bust in. What's this right here? Nothing. I like how I still got all Arthur's. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running <clears throat> errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed a mm. few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Well, good. We've already found, uh, we have already found some work in Strawberry. Good, honest work for good, honest folk. That's what we're about. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Hmm. Oh, if we knew how our life was going to turn out nine years ago. <laughs> uh, Loaded up pretty good, Milton. Good. You ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Riding slow, riding slow, riding slow. Here we go, here we go. West past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Oh, I'm gonna knock this. Oh, that's not knock some That didn't sound good. No, oh, yeah. We'll get it later. We'll get it on the next run. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, stop. My God. My first delivery job, and I'm running through this guy's fence. Yeah, that's me down there running through your Mr. fence. Dennis. No, sir. A Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife. We was in business with her family and it turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> We know when we're not wanted. Get down from there! <laughs> Bye, bud! <laughs> Come back here! Take that horse if you need it. Don't think I won't. That's my damn wagon! There, there. Easy. Can you catch us? Oh, 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 oh god, oh, oh. Hey! This is your last chance to come out of this breathing. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! You can't take the joke, mister! Tell me to take that off the off, Mr. Abel, or we get a whole lot more money. Excuse me, dude. Oh man, I can't believe I got run over by the wagon. And I still survived. Oh my god. What happened here? Oh my god, I'm having one hell of a time with this. Go right down, easy, easy, easy. All right, now. Good lord, it was that that hard. Got ran over by a dang wagon. Right here, right here, dude. Stop. Wait, no, keep going. Yeah. I'm having a hell of a time here. Jeez Louise! Look, they fixed the fence already. Right, I ran through it a while ago. For Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got. We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? <clears throat> no trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. 
I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. Hmm. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. I'm gonna shoot you. Well, I guess now we're in epilogue. Part one. Mission complete. The wheel. Where are we going now? We are going up here on the hill. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey! Hey! Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Mm -hmm. Say, is that your family getting in uh, the wagon up there? Ah, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mm-hmm. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. <clears throat> How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. Well, but I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Hmm. Sounds like this is starting off to be really to nice. Cows. Come on. I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, mm -hmm. if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Ah. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, 
I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Hmm. You got the hang of it. Almost got a pail full. Hey, Paul. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna fill this tank up. This cow was partner. We all got to earn our keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. We're just gonna leave the milk sitting there. Just. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand? It's such a fine name. I like it. I got. I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Look out. Pick the manure up. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Ew. Sorry, I had to scratch my head. Let's go over here and see what we can. From gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Ugh. Shoot, yeah, that's what we do right here. Scoop of the manure. <clears throat> Scoop. The manure and put it in the oh yuck. This is a dog's work. Scoop. The manure and put even it. your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. All right. Let's go down here and find old Abigail. We seem to be going to the house a lot during the day. Maybe a little afternoon delight. Afternoon hey. delight. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too.
Mm, I wonder if that's like a subtle hint. I'll put some coffee on. Three dollars for a day's work. Awesome. Where are my other hands? I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. All right. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. Mm. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. Hey. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Hey, now. Whoa, none of that. <laughs> Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. You're a good boy. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. <laughs> Come on. Let it all out of Hmm. All right, Jeremiah. All right, let's find this kid. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Let me get out of the way so you can get on that hosey house. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Yeah, good job. Nice. Ride the horse around. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, 
But I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just but, worry uh, about but. the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. What? I don't you know Mr. what. Mr. Melton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. So... You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. Reach around in there. And pull. Hold on, Milton. Hold on. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton... Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hmm. She was a little pickle tickle, wasn't she? Alright, done with that. Where are we going now? What's going on here? Over the over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. I guess we're going down here to see. Hey John. Jim! <sighs> Sorry. So this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way. Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. Let's go, Jack. How you doing? <clears throat> Fine. Can we go home? No. You're. Stay calm. 
Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident. Okay? Uh -huh. Where are we going? Confident. Yep. I'm gonna go this way. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. All right, come on. Let's ride. Jack, a little kick and a... See? You can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa! Even faster, come on! Faster? What's happening? Help! Easy there! Easy there! Whoa! Jack! <laughs> you okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> that made him ride too fast. All right. Let's go again. Ah! Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Faster now. Come on. Sir, if I go any faster, he'll buck me again. Okay. See? You're learning. Yay. And Jack just takes off his own way. Here, smell my butt. You're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Oh, gosh. Oh, Jack's gonna win. Is he gonna win? I don't know. Are you still back there? Just let us get to these lavender fields here. We're doing it, boy. It feels like I'm flying. Hmm, I'm gonna really blow by you, just so you know, Jack. I'm just gonna hang out on your hip pocket here until it's time to make my move. Oh, switch over, you see that? Oh, you're gonna cheat on me now? All right, here we go. Been nice knowing you, Jack, but I'm gonna go ahead and bust this one out. <laughs> well ridden, son. You won. This time. Whoa. But we both rode hard. 
And you're riding? It's gotten a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Good day. <gasps> Alright, guys. Well, we're going to stop the video right here. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, leave me some comments and smash that like button down there, guys. Um, with that being said, we, um, we're going to go on to the next video. So, thank you for watching.